In this video I am going to follow up on a suggestion I got on my previous video about this 3D printed speaker. I didn't like it that much and I would like to see what I could do to improve it. I had to do some changes in my 3D model and I made this version which has room for some heavy material inside. On all sides I'm also going to fill some in the bottom of the speaker. This is the sliced model. The green parts are all the supports. Laying down the first layer on my Bamboo Lab P1S and this is again printed in PETG. The finished uh, print looks good. It has quite a bit of supports that I have to remove. I don't know why I have this tool, but it came in handy when trying to remove this. They were quite stuck to the upper edge. And this is what it looks like. It's ready to be filled with something heavy. The only thing I was happy with uh, in my previous build was this amplifier. So I decided to build another one. This one is almost identical. I've changed the power connector and that's about it. I wanted to compare the weight between the old version and the new version before filling in the more heavy stuff. And uh, it's actually a bit heavier than the new plastic version. This is what I'm going to use for this. I'm using Jesmonite base and Jesmonite liquid. It's sort of a micro cement and you mix them in a ratio of one liquid and two and a half times powder. And uh, my wife works with this on a daily basis and she wasn't overly impressed with my attempts. I made a mess. Thankfully this wasn't going to be visible from the outside of the speaker case. Well, with the exception of what I spilled outside the speaker case or inside. I had to mix four of these cups to fill up one speaker. That was about uh, 900 grams of Jesmonite base and then of course the uh, liquid was added to that as well. One interesting property about this Jesmonite is that it heats up during hardening. I was a little bit concerned about the heat making changes to the shape of this but that didn't happen. I decided to check out the weight with the Jesmonite added and uh, this is the padding that should go inside. I would like to try this with the speaker baffle as well so I see the total weight of all the components. The speaker gained more than 1.3 kilos in weight but did that change the sound? opinion it's quite difficult to hear a significant difference between these two speakers and the difference might be down to the speaker driver itself. A speaker with more low end would probably benefit more from this heavy case. Still I enjoyed uh, messing around with the Jesmonite and I think I can use this material for some other projects as well. It's very dense, it's quite easy to mix and you can add pigments to get different colors. That's all for now. Bye bye.